Right now, as California burns through another record-breaking drought, engineers are racing to complete the most expensive water project in state history. Four billion dollars, seven years of construction, and a massive concrete wall rising from the hills of Northern California that could either save the state from future water crises or become the most expensive mistake in American infrastructure history. But here's what politicians don't want you to know about the site's reservoir project. This isn't just about storing water. This is about a fundamental shift in how California thinks about survival in an era of climate chaos. And the clock is ticking. Because while they're building this mega reservoir, California is burning through its existing water supplies faster than ever before. The state has maybe five years of normal precipitation left in its current reservoirs. After that, we're looking at rationing, agricultural collapse, and potentially the largest climate migration in American history. I'm about to show you why this $4 billion bet represents California's last chance to engineer its way out of a water crisis that threatens 40 million people, and why the decisions being made right now in Calusa County could determine whether the Golden State has a future at all. The engineering marvel rising from nothing. Picture this a naturally occurring bowl in the hills of Northern California, first identified in the 1950s but ignored for decades because the engineering seemed impossible. Now imagine filling that bowl with 1.5 trillion gallons of water, enough to supply 5 million homes for an entire year or irrigate half a million acres of farmland. That's the site's reservoir. And the engineering required to make it happen is absolutely insane. We're talking about two massive earth and rock fill embankment dams. The main site's dam standing 290 feet tall and stretching 850 feet across the valley, plus the Golden Gate Dam at 287 feet high and over 2,200 feet long. But here's where it gets really wild. This isn't just about building dams. Engineers are creating an entirely new water transportation system that connects to California's existing 180-mile canal network with only 12 miles of new construction. It's like building a teleportation system for rainwater, capturing excess flow during wet years and storing it for the inevitable droughts. Here's how this whole project began. In 2014, California voters approved Proposition 1 authorizing $7.5 billion in water bonds. Sites Reservoir got $900 million of that money. But here's what voters didn't know, that $900 million was just the down payment on a project that would eventually cost $4 billion. The rest of the funding? It's coming from a complex web of federal grants, local water agencies, and private partnerships that most taxpayers don't understand and politicians don't want to explain. The Federal Department of the Interior pledged $30 million for initial phases. Participating counties and cities are covering hundreds of millions more. And the remaining billion plus is being financed through bonds that California taxpayers will be paying off for the next 30 years. It's the kind of financial engineering that makes the actual dam construction look simple by comparison. The geological nightmare that almost killed the project. When engineers started detailed geological surveys for sites reservoir, they discovered something that terrified them. The naturally occurring bowl wasn't as stable as they thought. The foundation consists of sedimentary rocks, primarily sandstone and mudstone, that required extensive analysis to ensure they could support the massive weight of two major dams and 1.5 trillion gallons of water. But the real problem was seepage. Water has a nasty habit of finding ways through rock formations, and losing billions of gallons through underground leakage would make the entire project worthless. So engineers designed an incredibly complex seepage control system, a 20-foot thick downstream blanket drain made of filter and drain materials, plus extensive rim grouting in narrow ridges to seal potential leak points. The foundation work alone required 3.8 million cubic yards of earth fill and rock fill, enough material to bury a football field 200 feet deep. Here's the part that keeps engineers awake at night. Sites Reservoir sits directly above the Bear Valley segment of the Great Valley Fault Zone. 
Seismic analysis shows this fault system is capable of producing earthquakes up to magnitude 6.8. That's enough force to potentially damage or destroy the dams, releasing 1.5 trillion gallons of water downstream toward populated areas. So how do you earthquake-proof a mega reservoir? Engineers designed the embankments with clay core earth and rock fill specifically chosen for high residual strength and resistance to seismic damage. Dam slopes and abutments are built with conservative safety factors against earthquake loading. But here's the scary part. The design also includes emergency drawdown protocols that would rapidly lower water levels if seismic monitoring detects dangerous ground motion. Imagine having to drain a reservoir the size of Lake Tahoe in a matter of days because an earthquake might be coming. The water rights war that could stop everything. California water politics are notoriously complex, but Sites Reservoir has created a whole new level of legal warfare. The project requires water rights to divert flow from the Sacramento River during high flow periods. But existing water rights holders, including farmers, cities and environmental groups, are fighting those diversions in court. Environmental groups argue that taking water during high flow periods still reduces the amount reaching the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, potentially harming endangered fish species and wetland ecosystems. Agricultural interests worry that the reservoir will give urban areas too much control over water supplies, potentially leaving farmers without irrigation during future droughts. And Native American tribes are asserting that the project violates their treaty rights to traditional fishing areas along the Sacramento River. The legal battles could delay the project for years or kill it entirely, even after billions have been spent on construction. Here's the fundamental contradiction at the heart of Sites Reservoir. California is building massive water storage infrastructure at exactly the moment when climate change is making traditional water management obsolete. The reservoir is designed to capture water during wet years and store it for dry years. But climate change is creating longer, more severe droughts interrupted by shorter, more intense flood periods. Instead of the predictable wet-dry cycles that California's water system was built around, we're getting atmospheric rivers that dump enormous amounts of water in very short periods, followed by multi-year droughts. Sites Reservoir might fill completely in one super-wet winter, then sit empty for five to seven years during extended drought periods. That's not water storage. That's water gambling and the environmental costs of building the reservoir might outweigh the benefits if climate change makes the whole system obsolete within a few decades. The $1.5 billion economic impact promise. Supporters of Sites Reservoir promise massive economic benefits. $1.5 billion in regional economic impact, thousands of construction jobs and long-term water security that will support continued population and economic growth. But here's what the economic projections don't account for. The opportunity cost of spending $4 billion on a single mega project instead of distributed water infrastructure. That same $4 billion could fund thousands of smaller projects, groundwater recharge systems, water recycling plants, desalination facilities, and conservation programs that might be more resilient to climate change. Critics argue that Sites Reservoir represents old-school thinking about water management, build bigger dams and reservoirs, when California needs innovative approaches like atmospheric water generation, advanced water recycling, and demand management. The economic benefits are real, but they come at the cost of not investing in potentially better alternatives. The construction timeline that defies reality. Here's the official timeline for Sites Reservoir. Final funding and permitting approvals by 2024, construction beginning in 2025, and the reservoir operational by 2033. But here's what construction experts know. Major infrastructure projects in California almost never come in on time or on budget. The California High Speed Rail project was supposed to cost $33 billion and be completed by 2020. Current estimates are over $100 billion with completion pushed to 2033 or later. The Bay Bridge Eastern Span was supposed to cost $1.3 billion and open in 2007. It actually cost $6.4 billion and opened in 2007-2013. Sites Reservoir involves complex geology, environmental challenges, legal battles and coordination between multiple agencies. 
the chances of it being completed on time and on budget are essentially zero, and every year of delay means higher costs and less time to address California's water crisis before it becomes catastrophic. The modular design that could save the project. Here's the one brilliant aspect of Sites Reservoir that might justify the entire project. It's designed to be modular. Instead of building one massive reservoir that either works perfectly or fails completely, engineers designed a system that can be expanded or modified based on changing conditions. The initial reservoir can store 1.5 million acre-feet of water, but the design allows for future expansion if needed, or operational modifications if climate patterns change. The water conveyance system is similarly flexible, capable of moving water in different directions depending on where it's needed most. This modularity means Sites Reservoir could adapt to climate change rather than becoming obsolete because of it. But it also means the true cost of the project might be much higher than the current $4 billion estimate. The environmental mitigation that costs more than the dam. Environmental compliance for sites. Reservoir requires massive mitigation efforts that are driving up costs and complicating construction. The project will impact wetland habitats, potentially affect endangered species, and alter water flows in ways that could harm downstream ecosystems. So California is spending hundreds of millions of dollars on environmental mitigation, creating new wetlands to replace those that will be flooded, building fish ladders and spawning habitat, and establishing conservation easements on thousands of acres of land. The environmental mitigation costs more than many entire infrastructure projects, and it still might not be enough to satisfy environmental groups who want the project stopped entirely. It's a perfect example of how environmental protection and infrastructure development have become fundamentally incompatible in California, driving up costs and delays for any major project. Sites Reservoir depends heavily on federal funding, but that funding isn't guaranteed. The Biden administration has been supportive of water infrastructure projects, but federal budget priorities could change with future elections, and California's relationship with federal agencies has been complicated by political tensions over water rights, environmental regulations, and state versus federal authority. If federal funding disappears, California would have to cover the entire $4 billion cost through state and local sources. That would likely require additional bond measures, tax increases, or cuts to other programs. The federal funding uncertainty adds another layer of risk to a project that's already pushing the limits of financial and engineering feasibility. The displacement story, nobody tells. Building sites, Reservoir requires flooding a valley where fewer than two dozen residents live, but many are multi-generational ranching families who have worked the land for over a century. These families are being forced to sell their property and relocate, so California can build a reservoir that might benefit millions of people, but will definitely destroy their way of life. The human cost of sites reservoir is relatively small compared to other major infrastructure projects, but it highlights the fundamental inequality of how California addresses water problems. Rural communities bear the costs, losing their land, their livelihoods and their communities, while urban areas get the benefits of increased water security. It's a pattern that's been repeated throughout California's water development history, and sites reservoir continues that tradition. The technology bet that could change everything. Sites. Reservoir incorporates advanced water management technology that could revolutionize how California handles water storage and distribution. Real-time monitoring systems will track water quality, flow rates and environmental conditions throughout the reservoir and conveyance system. Automated controls will optimize water releases based on downstream demand and environmental requirements. Predictive modeling will help operators anticipate drought conditions and manage water supplies accordingly. And integration with statewide water management systems will allow Sites Reservoir to function as part of a coordinated response to water emergencies. If the technology works as designed, Sites Reservoir could become the model for next-generation water infrastructure. If it doesn't, California will have spent $4 billion on a very expensive lake. As construction crews work around the clock in Calusa County, California is racing against time to complete Sites Reservoir before the next major drought hits. Climate scientists predict that California could face a mega drought lasting 20 years or more, longer than any drought in recorded history. 
Without massive additional water storage, such a drought would force rationing, agricultural collapse and potentially mass migration out of the state. Sites Reservoir alone won't prevent that scenario, but it could buy California time to develop other solutions. Advanced desalination, atmospheric water generation, revolutionary conservation technologies, or even large-scale population relocation to areas with more sustainable water supplies. The $4 billion price tag seems enormous until you consider the alternative – a California without enough water to support its current population and economy. But here's the question that keeps water experts awake at night. What if Sites Reservoir is completed just in time to discover that $4 billion worth of concrete and steel can't solve a problem that requires fundamentally rethinking how 40 million people live in a desert? The reservoir will be completed by 2033. California's existing water supplies might last until 2030. That gives the state maybe three years of margin for error. In the race between engineering and climate change, Sites Reservoir represents California's biggest bet that human ingenuity can still triumph over natural limits. Whether that bet pays off will determine not just the future of California, but the future of how America responds to climate change. The concrete is being poured, the clock is ticking, and 40 million people are waiting to find out whether their state has a future. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.